Welcome to the Sprague River Marsh in Phippsburg, Maine. The Sprague River runs south through the Phippsburg Peninsula and uh, terminates at the Atlantic Ocean. The map you see here shows the parking area, marked as the letter A, my area of study, letter B, uh, the, the peak of Morse Mountain, which is only a couple of hundred feet above sea level, marked with the letter C, and where the trail terminates at the Atlantic Ocean at the beach with the letter D. The, uh, this was originally private land, which was donated to the Bates Morse Mountain Conservation, or they formed the Bates Morse Mountain Conservation. Um, interestingly, interestingly, at some point, there was a commercial cranberry bog um, behind the sand dunes, although I was unable to locate any his historical maps that shows exactly where they were. The wetland I studied is a tidal salt marsh, and the ecotone of interest uh, is where the tidal salt marsh meets a uh, evergreen uh, forested swamp. Uh, the red asterisk you see is my exact um, area of study. The only hydric soils um, are in the tidal marsh itself, and they are designated as mucky silt loam for the first 12 inches, and the next four feet after that, horizon two, is designated as silt loam. Again, the area of interest um, shown with a red asterisk. As far as surface and groundwater hydrology, uh, the, the primary uh, um, hydrologic feature here is the Sprague River running south to the, to the ocean. However, I did notice groundwater seepage um, from the upland um, eastern edge. Uh, I'm assuming that was fresh water uh, seeping into the, to the tidal marsh. And also, there was evidence of uh, drainage ditches that have been dug at some point in the past. Um, I've been told that uh, Mother Nature does not build in straight lines, and so uh, these are going to be man-made drainage ditches. As far as fauna, I saw some turkeys upstream and took a picture there. You could also hear them in the woods. They were really loud. Um, I could hear red squirrels, and I saw some seagulls. Um, also, pretty cool, um, there are some vernal pools uh, at the beginning of the hike, and the peepers were out. As far as flora goes, the salt marsh itself was dominated by uh, Spartina patens and Spartina alterniflora. The little island was almost exclusively pitch pine and this unknown shrub number two, which I think is leather leaf, leather leaf, but I've got a few things to identify. Here's the unknown shrub too, which might be leather leaf. Here's a nice picture of the pitch pine. Um, upland was dominated by balsam fir, shown here. Um, also uh, red maple and red oak and more uh, more pitch pine. Here is example of um, ice raft uh, disturbance, evidence of ice raft disturbance. And the, the Bates, uh, Bates College does research here and there were several wells. Um, here's a picture of one of them. Um, so there's some research going on in the area as well. I'm Wes Adams. Thank you very much.